Hello, in this video I'm going to go in depth in step one of the onboarding process, which will be complete user profile. So to get to complete user profile, we're going to go to our cog wheel in the top right, go to manage users, and from here we can choose which user we're going to edit. We're going to edit this one. Now we can add our name, our title in the company, what role we will have. If you are an executive, you will be able to change people's roles. Um, if you are not, you will not be able to. We can add a personal picture here. We can, here's a photo preview of what it would look like, obviously. Uh, we can add our phone numbers for this user, cell phone, office number. Um, from here, we can set our email notifications, which notifications we would like to receive. If we would like to receive a notification when a job is removed, a job is created, or when schedule changes are made. Um, continuing at the top, we can change our security. This is where we can change our password, create a new password if we would like to, and we have our security question. From here, we can assign this user to an office. If you have more than one office, if not, they will just be assigned to your, your default office, which will be your main office. And from here, we can set which goals we want to have for that user. So number of proposals per month, dollar amount of proposals per month, and dollar amount of one jobs per month, or totals down here at the bottom. And so make sure when you finish each step, you click save at the bottom of the page and move on to the next step. Now from here you can also connect to DocuSign if you have a DocuSign account. 